Hello and welcome to Retro Vehicles and Machinery. This week's video um, is a little update on the Customer Series 2A I've got in the workshop at the moment. I'm doing a, a light restoration on it. Um, the chap doesn't want it painted or any bodywork done. Uh, he wants a full mechanical overhaul and um, all the welding structurally on the chassis sorting out. So far I've been able to put some new outriggers in these sections here as they were rotted off uh, I've have put new uh, lower bulkhead repairs in just there I've sandblasted the pedals and painted them up and the pedal boxes I've started doing the master cylinders and the reservoir and getting the fluid through passenger side I've done the bulkhead repairs as well and the new outrigger on the chassis uh, I've done Put new floors for it because they were pretty shot. Um, I've been slowly working my way through the chassis and I've sort of pulled the drum off to decipher what brakes it had on it. I believe this is a 109 Series 3 axle with the 11 inch drums, not a Series 2A. But what I've been doing today is just cleaning up a bit more of the chassis. The chassis generally, for its age, it's a 1966, I think. Uh, it's, it might, maybe 69. On a G, I think, yeah, that's it, 69. So it's fairly old, but the chassis is in remarkable condition for its age. I found a whole load of rot in this area here on the spring hanger, which I started to cut apart, but it, it's too far gone in my eyes to repair. So I've got ordered some new lower spring hangers. I'll repair all the chassis box and then weld the new spring hangers on when they arrive. Strip the front end down, I've got the same issue here. I'll fix the chassis up, I can do all of that, but the spring hanger itself is pretty shot. So, a new one of those, and then a new one for this side as well, which is just appalling. Again, all falling apart. So, yes, I've been working my way through the chassis, cleaning it up, painting it with um, KU rust stuff, rust treater and then painting it with chassis black, bit by bit. I've worked my way from the back to the front. Rear cross member and the rear sections of the chassis are all in really nice condition, which makes a pleasant change for an old landy. So yes, it has had, I'd say, a fair bit of work gone into it already, um, but it's just, it's a project I've been getting sorted out for a customer, bit by bit, really. I'm just painting the KU rust. I've prepared this metal with uh, an angle grinder, a descaler. So the, I've used a, a grinding wheel, with, well, a flat disc wheel in it to remove any loose, and then an air powered descaler to knock any difficult bits, mainly up here in this box section and around there. Cut the old brake hose off. I've ordered all new ones of those for the braking system, and I've been making up brake pipes for it. So I'm hoping by doing this it will give the chassis a bit of preservance, a bit of preserve over the next coming years. And so it's been in the chap's family for a very long time. Uh, just a sympathetic restoration, the mechanical overhaul with all the um, brakes, suspension, steering sorted out. And um, then the welding on the chassis to make it solid. Oh, I've been enjoying doing it so far. I ordered all new boots for in here. It's not going to be mint but I want to do it the sort of best I can to make it solid. All new door seals I fitted up and around. I've got a little bit of repair work to do on the doors where there's a bit of rot where the window um, piece connects to the door skin part itself. Yeah that's a little update. I'll do a bit more when some more parts arrive. So look what's turned up in the post, my spring hanger repairs, front spring mounts for the Series 2A, brilliant they are, really nicely done, much better than these old things that are hanging off here. So I'm doing, I've got the Land Rover jacked up on the ramp on the scissor lift and I've just dropped the spring bolts out, the front bolts both came out and I've dropped the front axle down and put it 
on a jack stand here. Still got one shocker on, on the passenger side, but the driver's side one I've taken off because I've started doing all the chassis there. So yeah, I'm going to look at doing these. I'm going to maybe use the plasma cutter and cut them back and then get some three mil plate, which I've got a big sheet of just here and um, cut some repair panels out, repair the box section, chassis sections first. So I've got a decent um, chassis section to weld the spring mounts onto. But I thought rather than just repair what's here in little plates here and there, and it'd it be a horrible patchwork quilt, I'd buy the front repair panels, um, the hangers anyway, and repair the chassis, cut the rock back, weld fresh steel in, and then put the fronts on just to make a nice, neat, tidy job of it. So the front cross member on this landy is all looking good. Um, this is the last section of welding on it. I've put outriggers on it and the usual bits and pieces. I've cut a lot of rot out of the chassis and um, repaired that. So that's all looking okay so far. So yeah, I'll get some tools together and start cutting these apart. So I have my rot cut out from either side of the chassis section here. Big plate that side and uh, a bit smaller one on that side. If that'll focus. What I've done is mocked my template up out of some cardboard so that I have a pattern to work off of and um, cut my 3mm um, steel out to match the template. So this piece will fit nicely just inside there. I can seam weld all of that up and make a nice job. It brings the chassis profile back and then the other side I've cut this slightly shorter plate out and that will go in like this and also bring that side of the chassis back so hopefully I'll get the welder out next and um, seam weld those bits in and then once the sides have got a bit of strength back restored into them I can measure the plate that's going to go underneath the bottom section of the chassis make a template up and weld that in, seam weld that in. The top here is a rot hole. These two holes are the bumper mounting holes for the bolts. So I'll probably maybe make a template where the holes need to go and cut it back a bit. So I can go back to some good steel and then cut this whole front piece off. And I'll box it in at the end when it's done. But yes, the actual spring hanger itself. It wasn't a lot holding it on. I literally cut either side of the chassis there and it just dropped off. It was rotten as a pair. All rotten through the middle. Bit of a moisture trap. Trap all the dirt and crap in there and over the time it just rots it out from the inside, which is what's happened, but not too bad a job to do so far. I say when I've got the sides in, I can then pull it in or, or set it up to where the spring hanger needs to go to so it should hold itself up and then I can weld that on as well. side repair panel if it'll focus there you go seam welded in I think that's nice and solid look at doing this side next Place. Spring hanger. 
and it wants to just tap in a little bit so that that spring hanger can go over the outside. Off. Hopefully that still retains. There we go. I'm going to say that wants to go roughly there. So I've left the other side on just for a few, a few little measurements. But that looks. That looks pretty good to me, roughly where it wants to go. I will of course box the floor section of the chassis in. Um, so that's done next. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's looking, um, looking good so far. I've just started welding the bottom section of chassis in. I've cut a, cut a piece out. And slowly but surely I've tacked it and seam welded it across the back end. I'll keep seaming, seam welding it a little bit and then trying the spring hanger in just to make sure it fits. with how that's looking. Surface dressing with a flat wheel and a grinder just to tidy the weld up. That's looking all right. So I just aligned my spring hanger up, um, taking a few measurements off this one which is still the factory one um, where it sits and got it lined up where it needs to be on this side. So I'm going to just tack that in place and then I'll weld that up, weld an end on here and then make a nice repair piece for this top. Cut that out and fillet that in as well.
and try and weld the inside up next and then weld under the back there make a nice job tidying that bit up just to finish it off so I've cut this nice little plate out and cut the rotting piece out of the chassis there that will fill it in quite nicely there seam weld that piece in and I've also cut somewhere a piece for the end here the end of the chassis a box piece so I can weld all of that up as well so yeah we're getting there I figured what I'll do when I go to put the bumper on I'll have to redrill the holes because I've got a galvanized bumper for it but the end's all bent so I'm gonna have to either straighten that or get a new bumper if I get a new bumper it'll be aftermarket one so it'll probably want lining up with different holes anyway so I'll leave drilling the um, bumper holes till last what I will do is spray some zinc primer up the chassis though so that can have a bit of a coating on all the bare metal on the inside before I weld the end on um, so yeah that'll help it a little bit I do plan on obviously painting all of the chassis up and rust treating the bits that need it um, and then I'll blow some wax oil within the chassis through all the holes anyway when it's done um, but for the time being it's sort of looking a lot better gone in finishing finishing up the box section of the chassis there let that cool off for a little bit I'll get the airline blow any swarf and angle grinder bits out so that's clean and in the meantime I did weld up that little section on the inside it's a bit dark it might not see and um, welded up that bit too so that bit's all looking pretty good the driver's side um, yes it's taken the majority of the day to sort all of this. I've had a few dis disruptions today. I've had to go and clear up some work on the farm. And I've had customers turning up and the phone going, but same old thing. That's what happens when you run a little garage, I suppose. I had another bit of time on the Series 2, so I've started doing the passenger side. Cut the spring hanger off, which is this rotten old fella here just as bad as the driver's side if not worse and he came off quite easily and I fabbed up some three mil plates cut um, template out of cardboard and welded them cut it out of steel and then welded them on uh, I say making out of cardboard wouldn't be much use those sides are both done I've got um, to cut out the bottom piece now box that in underneath and then I'll cut a top out for it as that's rotten. Driver's side, I managed to, well, I'd already cut the end piece out. I was just letting the paint dry, the zinc primer that I painted it with. Um, I think, think personally, that's made a lovely job of that. Box the end in, I will clean that up and um, paint it as well in primer. She's all on, and I don't think that's gonna come off. What I'll probably do when this side is ready and finished and painted, I'll chassis black all of the part of the chassis here as I've been painting it as I've been going along um, I might drop the front axle out because then I can jet wash it all off clean it up and paint that in chassis black sort the spring eye bushes out because I noticed these ones are a bit knackered these springs looking quite good Nick they're a bit rusty but they're all right uh, and then I can build up the front axle with um, some new shoes and cylinders sort of on the bench as it were put it up on some trestles with the engine crane and build it once it's painted and do the oil and seals and bits and pieces in it and then sort of build it as a, a fresh unit to go back in. Might make the job a little bit easier. So I did both sides, I did the floor section and um, I've welded, sorry, at a really poor camera angle, I've welded the, well, tack the spring hanger in. I've um, measured it up from this cross member out to the end here, or the very front section. And that way I was able to measure from the cross member out. That came to 29 on that side, 29 that side. So we have the front spring hangers um, lined up. Next job now is to seam weld 
the edges in and um, make a piece for the top and make an end plate for it clean it all out put some paint in it I need to blow the chassis out with the airline but no, it's looking good happy with that I'll weld those on next just seen welded the edges in now it's made a really nice job of that I'm quite proud of that if that focuses plenty of weld on that nice thick strong bead welded up the top there and I've managed to weld her underneath as well so it's looking good be able to dress the weld up a little bit with the flat wheel in the dish in the grinder um, yeah happy with that I'll have a look at cutting the top off next and just do what I did on this side make a little plate cover I will have to drill out the bumper holes which will be fun so that's the last of the welding done on the passenger side front spring hanger really happy with that made a little box this morning uh, well a square plate this morning and just welded that in finished that off which is good I might just run the flat wheel just on this front edge just to tidy that little bit up um, that one I've painted in um, etch primer it's had zinc primer it's had etch primer on it so it's got a few coats on it now and then i will paint it chassis black later on today which is good so i've had five minutes and painted everything up with chassis black so everything's set now um i managed to get chassis black coated all in and out of nooks and crannies on it i did the front cross member and the other side too so that's looking good. I still need to drill the holes out for the front bumper. But for the time being, that's good enough to um, carry on with. I managed to do the fuel tank as well. So I cleaned all that off, painted that with chassis black. Uh, it was a replacement tank in it anyway, so it wasn't too bad. It wasn't the original. And then I painted this side of the chassis all the way down to the front. So I had rust treated all of this as it runs in it but it's you know it's the chassis it's protected up and coated now so that's good yeah we'll do the next video i think will be the front axle overhaul with the brakes put a new pinion seal in it tidy it up clean it and paint it and then yeah we'll go from there